Hi and welcome to this new video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and in this video tutorial I want to show you some cool plugins for GIMP. Um, because I'm sometimes uh, there at the evening I'm outside and another place and I have time to work there a little bit on my laptop so um, I need software there too and I can I cannot afford on every computer in my office or on laptops the complete Adobe Creative Master whatever pack so I decided to have a mix of my computers with commercial software and free software and on my laptop is GIMP and I'm was a little bit stuck because I wa wa wanna want to make some uh, bump maps and normal maps and th for just for rendering for textures and I thought there must be some plugins out there for GIMP or uh, there must be something uh, out there which is for free and works so. I searched a little bit and I stumbled over normal map, the normal map plugin and the uh, insane bump plugin. And these plugins are really cool. Um, for Windows 7 and Windows 8 users and GIMP 2.8 users, um, there is maybe a little bit a trick to install it, but uh, if you follow the manual, it should be working. Um, for the normal map plugin, uh, just follow the, the information a little bit down on the on the comments. There is a hint for 2.8 where you have to place the DLL files. So just look carefully uh, on these uh, comments, and you will be able to install it. You will get this, um, these plugins at registry.gimp.org and I can show you that. Um, it's a plugin registry for GIMP plugins and you can search for in Google you can just search for GIMP normal map and then you will, I think the first link is leads you to the GIMP plugin registry. And the same is for the Insane Bump plugin, it's the same. Just search in Google for it and you will, the first link will lead you to this site here. Okay, um, I've loaded a texture in here and I want to show you what um, Insane Bump and Normal Map uh, can do for you. Um, you have to, if you use Insane Bump, you have to install Normal Map because uh, Insane Bump uses Normal Map for um, for um, for creating the Normal Map. So um, just install two plugins and you will be fine. And now let's have a look at the script. Um, the script, you can find it under filters, map, insane, and the normal map plugin will be here as well. Just start insane. Okay, here you have some, uh, some uh, things to, uh, where you can refine your your outcome of this, but I think uh, the default settings um, will do it. Will do the job. Um, you can try to hit this option here. Um, to yes, maybe it tiles correct your 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 um, yeah your yeah, texture. Um, you can remove the lightning, this means, this means uh, some specular highlights 
um, you can here you can crank up the, the settings a little bit but I worked with the normal uh, default settings and it worked really f good okay this is insane pump and if you now just click OK and insane pump will do the work and as you can see it creates a lot of layers and stuff like this and while it's working I will pause the recording and I will be back when it's finished okay it's finished now and now I can show you the results the insane bump puts out some files in your directory where your texture is this means you have to pay attention where where you put your texture just make a new folder put the texture in there uh, open it and just let insane bump do the work and then you have some additional files in there okay um, now first this is our original image the next one is the the one with the h underscore h and this is your displacement or high map and the next one is, is really cool that's the normal map and then the next one is the normal map a little bit different uh, it puts out um, not one normal map it puts out um, a normal map with a real fine texture and one with a really um, yeah, uh, high values and I don't know why the script do that but uh, I th don't think I use something like that um, then the next one um, okay if, uh, okay there it is okay here we have the specular map and I think it's really cool you can sure you can uh, play with the contrast a little bit afterwards you can do some work on the images like you want and the next image is color okay um, I'm not really sure what this um, is but um, I think it's something like like a color map or something like that um, it's yeah it's there and I don't know why okay and that's it that's insane bump uh, it's really cool really cool to work with um, just delete the other textures uh, these crazy textures here or if you know for what they are please give me a hint just leave me a message uh, I will appreciate that because <laughs> I really don't know what what this is okay now let's just have a look at um, just at a uh, quick look at normal map let's go to map and open normal map and you have here you have a 3d preview uh, it's really cool you can here you can invert the x the, up, the y and so on and you have uh, some settings to change and it's really cool it's a really cool uh, alternative for uh, crazy bump or NDO2 or something like that and it's for free so well, just have fun with it thank you for watching and goodbye